Alrighty, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel and today I'm going to be fixing every Dark Edition Skylander starter pack. I already fixed all the regular starter packs. I basically made all the changes that I would make to make them pretty much the best that they can be, at least in my opinion. So I would recommend you guys go and check out that video if you want to. If not, it's totally cool if you stay here because I'm still going to, it's going to be building off of that video. I'm going to explain like which counters I picked for each starter pack in that video and build off of them in this video with the Dark Editions. So without further ado, let's jump right into it with SSA. So to start off with it with um SSA basically the last time I did this video, I said that the starter pack was perfect, and I still 100% agree with that. I think Trigger Happy, Spyro, and Gilgrunt are a perfect trio that work very well for that game. So I think we're going to be keeping them the same, and we're going to be giving a dark edition to each of them, which is going to be really cool. I mean, Spyro already has a dark one that came in the 3DS starter pack, I believe, so it wouldn't be too hard. I mean, he's already got his design. Then there'd be a dark Gilgrunt, a dark Trigger Happy, and then the there's going to be five scalers in the starter pack. I think five is a good amount, and there's going to be a dark Igniter. This guy was in the 3ds starter pack he's a classic scoundrel and i just think he looks super cool with like black or silver flames like think how cool that would look this would look like very cool would be a pretty awesome design and igniter just works well as a starter pack scoundrel he's just kind of a basic close range one which is nice considering the ssa had three long range ones now the other one i'm gonna do is dark lightning rod lightning rod i think is a great scoundrel he has a great mix of close range and long range i don't really know anyone who dislikes him and he i think would be really cool in the starter pack i think everyone likes this guy and he's got a pretty unique design and there would be no overlapping elements and he would just have a really cool dark edition like imagine like a black and silver lightning rod like this guy would be super sick in the ssa starter pack so that's what i think the dark one should be spyro gilgrunt trigger happy igniter and lightning rod all dark obviously now next up is giants now the only change that i made to this in the previous video was swapping out series to cinder for pop fizz i just think pop fizz is more iconic and he is just liked by more people and i don't think it's a good idea to have repos in the starter pack because if you already have the series one you don't want to get the same starter the same character twice it's kind of stupid so i think the dark starter pack should be dark tree rex and then dark pop fizz and dark jet back obviously and then i also think we should get another giant with dark hothead i think this would look super cool he would look like more like a molten like rocky sort of magma scalander he would look really cool so i think dark hothead would actually work really well in the starter pack and he's just a giant that i think everyone likes everyone enjoys so i think this is what i would want which is dark hothead dark jet back dark pop fizz and then dark tree rex now for swap force I the only change that I made in the original video is swapping out Ninja Stealth Elf for Bumble Blast. I think Bumble Blast is more of a liked scoundrel overall. I also I just can't stand having repos in the starter pack like i do not get the point of that swapping out bumble blast in i think he's just a better scalander overall he has a more enticing design and he is going to be the same element so nothing too much changes and then you still got the fire and water i think blast zone and wash buckler are two like perfect starter pack scalanders right there so blast zone i think making giving him a dark edition i mean he already has a dark edition so that's fine same with wash buckler dark bumble blast i think would look super sick with all the honey and the wood and his and his um blaster like i think he would look really cool having a dark edition maybe even red eyes or something i don't really know i don't know what they would do but i think a dark edition bumble blast would look awesome now the other two scalanders i think we should have one more swapper i think that makes sense and then one more core so the other swapper i think should be doomstone just because i feel like it's nice to have earth scalanders in starter packs so we don't get earth very often this guy also has a really cool design that i think would really work well as a dark skylander i mean you could give him like silver or gray spikes and make a lot of his design black he would look super cool you would get three different movement types and three different elements of swappers so you could have a few different combinations and you can find what you like and doomstone is just like he's a pretty basic skylander i feel like he works well as a starter pack skylander now the other one is going to be dark Popthorn. Dark Pop Popthorn is just one of the most well received cores from Swap Force. I know personally I really like Popthorn. He's one of my favorite cores from Swap Force. And I think he looked pretty cool as dark, and it wouldn't take too much effort to turn him into a dark edition. I mean, just kind of change his color scheme from like, you know, dark blue, light blue to sort of black and gray. Like he would look really cool. I think these five scouters are just kind of universally liked or can at least be respected for having simplicity in their moveset that works well in a starter pack. So I think these five would work well in the dark edition. Now for trap team, in the original video, I swapped out snapshot and food fight for Crip King and fist bump. I think we keep both of them for sure. 
and then from the dark edition trap team starter pack that we already have the only scounder that they added in was wildfire but i think dark wildfire is so perfect for the starter pack that we're going to keep it for this one so now we have dark crypt king dark fist bump dark wildfire and then we are also going to be adding dark flip wreck i think this guy just has a really enticing design that will work really well in the starter pack like he just looks like a starter pack scounder he's kind of a basic dolphin with a sword and a shield he has a basic moveset overall, which was pretty much what you want to get out of a starter pack. With these characters, you get a nice mix of close range and long range. And I think Dark Flip Wreck would actually look super cool. Dark Crypt King would definitely look super cool. And Fist Bump already doesn't have that much color in his moveset. I just think if you made him more metallic and more of like a shiny silver sort of color, he could really pop and look really nice as a Dark Edition. Now, I think the traps for this game, I think keeping it the same was probably fine. Like Water water life is fine you can keep the ultimate tra uh, chaos trap too it looks pretty cool so that is going to be it for trap team now superchargers is the one that i'm actually messing with quite a bit i think first of all there should be a there should be a vehicle of each uh of each what do you call it like not movement type but each terrain there should be a land sea and sky vehicle in superchargers that come in the dark starter pack that way you can pretty much get all the game has to offer from just the dark edition starter pack now for the Skylanders, in the last video, I picked Thrillipede and Deep Dive Gilgrunt. Thrillipede just because he has a perfect balance of close range and long range, and he's just pretty fun to use overall, and he has a nice enticing design, which you want to put that in a starter pack. And then Deep Dive Gilgrunt, because everyone likes Gilgrunt, and Deep Dive Deal Gilgrunt is like, just, I feel like it's pretty on par. It's really cool to have a new moveset, and I think you want to show off the supercharge with the new movesets in the starter pack, so I think Deep Dive Gilgrunt's pretty perfect. Now the other one that I'm going to be putting in the dark starter pack, is dark splat splat is a pretty basic scounder but she's fun and i like her the thing about why i want to put her in the dark starter pack is because if you guys have ever seen her concept art she used to be a dark scounder she looked very sick with this dark design i think they should sort of reference that by putting her in the dark starter pack giving her more of a dark color scheme i think it would look really cool with splat and I think it would work really well in the starter pack because she's not too complicated of a scalander to get used to. And I think she would just work well overall if you're going to put her in a starter pack. Now the vehicles, I think having the Splatter Splasher and the Buzzwing are good. Both dark variants, obviously. And dark Buzzwing, I think, look, look <laughs> would look like actually sick. And Splatter Splasher too. And then you, those are C and uh, Sky vehicles. And then I think the Dark Shield Striker, just because this is a really cool looking vehicle. Like I think everyone likes how this vehicle looks and the attacks are pretty cool. And giving it a dark color scheme would actually re look really nice and be enticing in the starter pack. I think they should redesign how the starter pack looks though and put three scounders on the left three vehicles on the right i think that would look much better than what they did with all of them on the top so that's what i would do for superchargers now for imaginators this might be the coolest one so in the last video i picked chompy mage and robo instead of having golden queen and kingpin chompy mage i just think is more iconic and robo i think has a much more enticing design that looks much cooler like i remember looking at the poster for the first time and saying that's the one I want. I want Robo more than anyone else. He looked the coolest for sure. So I think Robo should be in the starter pack. And then Dark Chompy Major just looks sick with a black and silver color scheme. Same with Robo. Robo would look like absolutely amazing with a dark color scheme. And then I'm going to be throwing in one more, which is going to be Dark Ember. Dark Ember is super sick in my opinion. I mean, Ember already feels like a starter pack scalander, and she was used in so much of the promotional material for Imaginators. She was wave one. I think she would work really well in the starter pack. She's kind of a basic fire one, and we haven't had fire in a couple of games at this point, so I think Ember would work really well, and Dark would look super sick. Like, imagine her um, sentinel weapon having, you know, two dark, completely pitch black blades. Like, that just sounds awesome. Now, the other one that I'm going to include is Chaos. This guy, I just think he fits the stuff. Like, you gotta put Chaos in the Dark Starter Pack. And it's not that much of a stretch, considering that they did release a special edition starter pack for the PlayStation 4 that had four scounders in it. So I think having four senseis isn't even that crazy of an idea. So they put Chaos in here, I think that would be awesome. And he just feels like he should be in it. Like, at this point, you should get him in the starter pack. And getting, you know, Chaos and Dark Chompy Mage in the same starter pack, everyone's gonna want that. It just looks super cool. Now for the Creation Crystals, in the original one, you got a Fire one, a Dark one, and a Life one. This time, I think we could get rid of the fire and the life one. I don't think we really need them. I think we keep the dark one and we add a light creation crystals too. This will get us dark and light, which is a really nice combo. And I think everyone would enjoy having those creation crystals. I think they're pretty cool. So I think dark and light is the way to go.
Alrighty, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys would do anything differently, please let me know in the comments down below. And if you guys want to see me do the 3DS starter packs or tablet starter packs or anything like that next, I would definitely be open to suggestions. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.